You know what, child? This movie just made me want to be a better person, a better granddaughter, a better daughter, a better friend, a better co-worker. It just made me want to call all my loved ones. And I swear, as soon as I left this theater, I called my grandma to tell her I love her. My name is Sharonda from Pay or Waits and today I'm going to be reviewing The Farewell which is directed by Lulu Wang and the film stars Aquafina who portrays the character Billy as it centers around her family, um, her Chinese family who finds out that her grandmother is ill, does not have that much longer to live and so because due to tradition they cannot tell her what is wrong with her so as an effort to get the family together one last time they just basically stage a fake wedding to get the family to come back into town to see Nai Nai and to basically pay their respects without her knowing their pair in their respects because she doesn't know that there is something wrong with her. And so one of the interesting facts about this film is actually based on Lulu Wang's um, life um, as this situation happened to her as she found out that her grandmother was actually ill. So in the beginning of the films it says that it is based on an actual lie. So for those of you who are new to my channel I tell you what I liked about the film what I didn't like about the film and should you pay your way to see this film in theaters. So I actually had the um pleasure of viewing this film earlier in the year at the Sundance Film Festival. Um and I wanted to see it a second time mainly because I was dying of a viral infection when I saw this at Sundance um, but I would have to say that I really really enjoyed this movie this is definitely one of my top movies of 2019 and so going into what I liked about this film I would have to say that Aquafina, who um, plays the character Billy she does such a fantastic job and really one of the first dramatic roles that we've seen her in we know her more as this comedian this rapper that we've seen in Crazy Rich Asians we've seen as some of her um, YouTube channel stuff before she um, started doing films and I think that she does such a great job um, also more so to the point where I want to see her in more dramatic roles I think that she really brings you in on this journey she made me feel like it was my grandma because that's how sad I was watching her but she finds a great way to balance kind of the drama the sad aspects of this film because it does deal with grief and it deals with how not only family does with grief but what happens when you know that you're losing someone close to you and you know that the time together you know is very limited and I thought that she did a very great job of conveying that um, on the screen and actually making you feel the same type of emotions that she was feeling but also too um, due to the script they do a very great job of balancing such a heavy topic and balancing throwing some comedy in it whereas like we know there's a sad moment but there's something funny that happens where it's just like okay I can laugh I can breathe I'm happy again um, but I would have to say what are the other standouts of this film? And I want to make sure that I get her name correct is Shuzin Zhao, who plays Nai Nai, Billy's grandmother. She does such a great job um, on screen of you really understand why everyone is so sad, not just losing, you know, a close family member, like the potential that you could lose her, but she just has such a great and warm spirit on screen. She's funny, she's nurturing. You just like, I wanted her to be my grandma. Not saying that I don't love you, grandma, because you're my favorite grandma in the whole wide world but she was great I was just like hey grandma I want you to be okay like I don't want you to go nowhere but yeah like I had a really great time watching the farewell um I think that I learned a lot about Chinese culture I didn't know that um there was a thing where if you were sick with a certain type of disease that instead of telling you um the family chooses not to tell them because they don't want fear um to overcome and take them out early you know a lot of people when they hear hear that they're sick it does something to their mental state and they really give up before even beginning the fight and so I felt as though that even though um, this movie is based on a Chinese family I learned a lot about their culture but also too there were a lot of ways that I was able to relate to their situation as someone who um, I lost one of my grandmothers a couple of years ago I've lost my father um, I found a way to relate to them um, the situation is very relatable and if, if no one's gone through this I'm very happy that you haven't had to go through this yet um, but also to seeing the generational differences as we see how her father deals with this situation as her mom deals with this situation showing how people deal with grief in different ways some people are very emotional about it uh, one of the reasons in the film they don't want 
um, some of the children to be around is because they feel as though that they can't hide their emotions. And even also too, how we talk about those who find it hard to deal with grief and to show grief and to show emotion as they're dealing, you know, with this sad circumstance. But also too, I did enjoy the aspect of showing how, you know, Western culture versus Chinese culture is so different um, because in America, you know, there's no way that you cannot tell someone um, that they're sick or they're ill um, versus as Billy's trying to understand her um, Chinese culture that um, this is a way of life. This is what everyone does as she kind of learns how to deal with the situation. Um, but if I had to say anything bad about the film, there are a few points in the film where um, the pacing is a little off. If the movie starts to feel um, a little bit long, um, but it happens very few and far in between in the film. But overall for me, I had a great time watching The Farewell. I cried, I laughed, I cried again and laughed again. And it really felt like a therapeutic experience kind of watching someone deal with this grieving process, um, even resonating, bringing up some of some of the different ways that I've dealt with grief over um, the years of my life. But yeah, what I would tell you guys to do with you and your coins for The Farewell, I would tell you to pay to see this film in theaters. Um, Aqua Tina blows it out of the park. Um, Lulu, um, Lulu Wang, I can't wait to see what she does next. I think she's actually working on a sci-fi project next. But I had a very great time with The Farewell. I would recommend this movie to everyone to go see it right now in theaters. But those are my thoughts on The Farewell. As always, my name is Sharana from Payroll Waits. And if you like what you saw today, make sure you hit the like button, hit subscribe, share this video with your friends, and make sure you hit that notification bell. And I love you guys 3000. I'll see you soon.